In this video, we're going over how to do a super speed effect right inside of After Effects. Make sure to join our Patreon to get a ton of perks, including a private VFX masterminds chat where you can talk to other VFX artists. Link in the description below. All right, so in order to do this effect, we need two things, a clean plate without anybody in the shot, and then the clip of the person running. We're gonna scrub through the timeline right until the subject begins running, and then we're gonna hit Shift Control D to split the clip. Then we're gonna scrub further down the timeline right until we hit the point that the subject comes out of the run, and then hit Shift Control D to split the clip again. And now we should have three layers, a starting, a middle, and an end. With the playhead at the first frame of the middle running section, we're going to select the clip and right click, then go to time and freeze frame to lock in the layer to stay on this current frame. Then with the pen tool, we're going to draw a rough mask around the subject and add a touch of feathering. Next, we'll grab the end of the layer and shorten it to be about only four frames long. This is all dependent on the clip and how fast you want the effect to be, but I already know for this clip that we want it to be really fast. Then grab the end layer and move it back until it meets up with the middle clip. Then once that's done, place the playhead at the tail of the ending clip and hit N on the keyboard and then go to composition and select trim comp to work area. Now we'll select our middle layer again and we're going to hit P on the keyboard to pull up position and hold shift plus S to also pull up scale and add a keyframe for both parameters. Then we'll move the playhead forward four frames, scale up the layer and move its position until it's in line with the ending clip. Right here I'm noticing we need to adjust the edge of the mask real quick so we'll pull the mask expansion down a little bit and adjust the feathering. Then we'll go back two frames and scale down a little bit and move the position to the right a bit so it follows how I originally ran in more of a curve. Next we need to add some blur. We'll add a directional blur to the layer and set the direction angle in the same direction as the runner. Then we'll add a little bit of blur here at the beginning and add a blur length keyframe. Then we'll move forward two frames and crank up the blur amount, adding another keyframe, then forward again two more frames, lowering the blur back down as the effect slows down. After our keyframes are set, we'll select all the keyframes and hit F9 on the keyboard to set them to easy ease to smooth out the animation just a bit. Next we want the subject to have a bit of warping as the speed plays out. We'll add a mesh warp effect and set a distortion mesh keyframe at the beginning of the running clip. Then we'll move ahead one frame at a time and select a few of the grid cross sections that are behind the subject and pull them in the direction that the runner is moving from to make a nice streak. When scrubbing through it should look like it starts off with no streak, then have the most amount of streak in the middle, and then less streak at the end as the runner comes to a stop. Now we'll duplicate the clip to thicken up the layer a little bit and adjust the mesh warp of the duplicated layer a little to add some slight thickness variation. Next we need to blend the clip of the runner coming to a stop with the speed layer by also adding some blur and mesh warp for a few frames. But if we try to do that on the clip itself, it's going to affect the background, so we need to roto the subject out for two frames. Move the playhead forward two frames with the end clip selected and hit Shift Control D on the keyboard to split the clip. Then opening up the two frame layer in the layer panel, we'll use the rotor brush tool to clip the subject out from the background. You can check out our video on how to use the rotor brush tool in the top right hand corner to learn more. Once the roto is complete, we'll add a mesh warp to this layer and perform similar steps to what we did previously. Setting a keyframe warping back and moving the mesh closer in as the momentum slows down. Now it doesn't need to look pretty by any means as it's only two frames long. Then we'll add a directional blur, make a keyframe and start the blur with a higher value and set another keyframe two frames later to zero. Then hit T on the keyboard to bring up opacity and keyframe the opacity from 75% up to 100. Now as the runner comes to an abrupt stop, the warping and blur stops with the same momentum. 